if we left it, eventually it would react. Um, but I don't really have time for eventually, so I'm going to set that kind of at the back of the fume hood, we'll lower this a bit. And if we did this right, I have um, concentrated sulfuric acid here, which is another oxidizer. And uh, I'm just going to drop a little bit of that and stand back. So if we did it right, we'll break the beaker. Um, so there it went. Um, the lab, the first demonstration that, that like when I when I demonstrated this in grad school, uh, we called this a blowtorch in a beaker, um, and it's meant to demonstrate kind of what can happen if you um, if you mix the wrong chemicals together, if you get the wrong things on your clothing, um, like there can be some serious hazards in in uh, the laboratory. Um, and these oxidizers, they have their own oxygen source. So that reaction will continue even if you try to quench it with water, even if you try to suffocate it or like, like enclose it, it'll keep going until it either runs out of oxidizer or runs out of fuel. So they can be really difficult to contain once they get going. You just have to kind of like give it its space and let it go through its reaction and eventually it will stop. Um, later on we'll talk about what happens if one thing runs out before another. Um, yeah, so there we go. It's Friday. I mean, it's Thursday, but it's Friday. We set things on fire. Woo, fire. Yay.